two. Let's just tell you about the two sides. Stellenbosch unchanged on that 3-0 win over Marisburg on Tuesday. Sage Stevens in goal with uh, Van Royen, Vassadin, Tetwa, Mendieta, all having started every single game this season. So some consistency in the lineup of uh, Steve Barker. Injuries to Artin Korsi, Naba and Lars Sol. Their lineup. One change with uh, Zita Quinica suspended after an accumulation of cards. He misses out against his old teammates, of course. And Gazana comes in for his first uh, game in eight matches since the last time Chiefs were right here at the stadium. And also to Cape Town City. Ashley Dupria, therefore, is the only ex Stellenbosch man up against his old side with Solomon. Chiefs in the NSL era since 1985 have now won 599 games. Can they make it 600 here today? Stanton Fredericks would have played some part in a few of those along the way. Chiefs, of course, in the change shift here. Stellenbosch in their customary purple. This is their home game. Moved from the Darnie Craven Stadium. And Ashley Dupier with a chance. Ben Yamana. The goal's been given. What a striking start here. Mistake here. Right over the top of the defence. Look at the pace of the man. Yeah, he done brilliantly to get to that to pre. But uh, the question is, did Sage Stevens have it under control? Let's have a look here. Both hands need to be on the ball. Just couldn't get a clear glimpse of that. But it uh, initially it looked like it was a goal. But I think he's given a foul. Yeah, the uh, initial decision did look to be. Uh pointed towards the spot they once they conceded looked to, to be in real trouble against the Angolans yes Sakota now this must be a chance for Dupier it's got away from him and it's an easy save a nice bright start here to uh, Sunday afternoon football at the Cape Town Stadium Rosler the strength of Marx yes the ball inside chance for Sekota. Well, that was a defensive error in the end that set up uh, Sejota. He's yet to score a goal for Kaiser Chiefs. Stevens to the rescue. Yeah, some great work here down the right-hand side from Dupree. Linking up with Frosler. Nicely pulled back there. Defensive error there. Sejota should have done better, but take nothing away from a brilliant save from Sage Stevens. Immediately reacted and made the angle very small for him. It was the perfect pass, inadvertent, I might add, from... <laughs> Dante gets the cross in and busted in. Uh, what was that? I'm not sure he knows either. It's a Sprozlak. Deflection. They're looking for a handball. What's the referee say? Corner. I think the ref has uh, placed. Has he got away with something here? Well, straight away, the call was for a penalty from the Chiefs players. I think he looks, uh, that looks a very good shot for Kaiser Chiefs. It's not question mark. Big question mark there. Played short here to Frosley. He's got a powerful shot. Left footed effort all the way through. And Stevens again makes this. He has all the right for coming. This is a. Uh, Look at the wall of people in front of him. All the way through. Saw it late. That's a good stop. Brilliant stop there from Sage Stevens. He's a feisty man, Junior Mendieta. Hasn't had it all his way this afternoon, Minieta. Always surrounded by a number of white jerseys as soon as he receives a possession. Blom. Taken away. Chance for a shot and a goal. The mistake by Blom is punished. And Kaiser Chiefs go behind as a defensive error allows Stellenbosch in for the opening goal. And that's how quickly these games can change. That yes, headed mark. All they rule the chances they've missed at East Kaiser Chiefs. It's Tellenbosch once again pouncing on an error self inflicted from Kaiser Chiefs. And this is the pass from Dove. Done well to evade the first challenge, but unsighted there coming through. A great shot from uh, Ndaga. He hit it with great power on the uh, right foot, right on target. Kuna had no chance. Cape Town Stadium, nice little turn from Dupria. Marked on the inside the box now. He's got a left foot. He goes for goal. Dimanyamana gets it out. Mosler miscues it. 
Not a bad idea from Prozda. You can see what uh, he was thinking there. Brilliant work from uh, Dupree as well. They're choosing to have a shot on goal. Just not falling for them, Kaiser Chiefs, and a little bit rush there from Prozda. Imagine if it has gone in. Long ball here in search of the clear. Big cover defense on Jabbar. And then Stevens again to the rescue. Uh, clipped. Leg of a defender there. Just on the turn, not too sure what happened. Yeah, clipping the bottom of the boot there. And turns with the foot out. Down he goes. Has he given the penalty? Diman Yamana against Stevens. Big Burundian. He's going to back this wide of Stevens and put Kaiser Chiefs on the scoreboard. That's his fourth goal for his new club. And the Panthers celebrates. Well taken penalty there from Caleb Diman Yamana. Down the middle. The footer might feel hard felt. This was the initial call from the referee. You see that tug, that, that right hand looked like it did impede, but uh, up steps Caleb down the middle and beats Sage Stevens for the first time this afternoon. Oh, I think both players slipped there on the. It is across. Yep. Yep. Missed by Mdaga. We were trading just before half time. Might well take the lead early on in the second half. Let's see. Biman Yamana. Up against Stevens. He slots it away. And once again, the goalkeeper is uh, sent the wrong way. Well, he's been beaten twice today, but only from the penalty spot. Got to give it to that man. Not easy to take uh, two penalties in succession. Well, he's First one went down the middle, Mark. He's pointing to the badge this time, which is better than his uh, last celebration efforts, where he misidentified his club. I think you've made a reference to that already. No chance for Stevens. Nothing fancy there, just leans back, gives it a bit of power, put a bit of placement on it as well, and... Uh, he go for goal? Has he got a left foot? No, he hasn't. Should have hit that with the left. Could have had a pop. Biman Yaman is onside, can he get the hat-trick? The big man from the is that a penalty? What's the referee say here? Another penalty! Number three! I think the footer did take him out. Red card for scoring opportunity. This was the chance at the other end. Gaga didn't push or pull the trigger. And suddenly, away they went on the quick counter. Yeah, so that decision to try and play the offside didn't work, but uh, yeah, you have it, Mark. From behind, up the... I have to do a bit of research on this, but I don't think better have the penalty in South African football. That is... Number three for Kaiser Chiefs. Di Menyamana is the new king of the Cape Town Stadium. Another well-taken penalty there. Third time beaten from the spot there. Sage Stevens shakes his head in disappointment. Calm figure from Arthur Zwani. Caleb Benyamana, hat-trick hero expertly dispatched here clever movement here just to get across the defender the Huda clearly tackling from behind never got the ball caught the man up steps the striker calmly slotted third one today Kaiser Chiefs three Stellenbosch one celebrations all round Kaiser Junior loving the moment Stanovosh down to 10, two goals behind. In from Basadin. 
Strong header away from Ed Milson. It will be a corner. I think apart from Kazichev scoring the three goals, I think uh, Blom has certainly risen after the mistake. Now Devon Titus needs a good first touch. It's a tight angle. Corner. Good challenge from Sofiso Clanti. Great angle ball into space from Basadin. And everything right here, Titus, and uh, a timely tackle from Clanti.